When summer comes to an end, we always have a lot of work to do to get ready for fall. Our beds are ready to go, so we're planting one of our favorite fall crops, carrots. Hey everybody, it's uh, September 8th and the weather's cooled off and we're out here trying to get uh, our fall garden in. As usual, we're a little late, maybe not too bad, but uh, we'll give you a quick garden tour and get to it. This is cut flowers. <laughs> Tell them about your cut flowers. These are my cut flowers. Lots of volunteer salosia. Um, they basically covered up everything that we do have. Some zinnias. Sunflowers are pretty much done. We've got some really big giant canary zinnias. This one's a good one. That's a big head. Sunflowers are still in there, but they're done. Yeah. The big one. We right might over be there. able to get two be able to get those if the birds don't eat them. Yeah. And then we've got some okra that's getting pretty dang tossed up in there. It's getting a little hard to pick. And then uh, we've got our peppers. They're still doing good. We really need to get them picked. Loads of peppers on them. Nice pretty colored ones bell peppers over here they're getting pretty tall they need to be tied up again Got eggplant down there still getting a few cherry tomatoes uh, tomatillos that are pretty much overgrown and not making any tomatillos still getting a few tomatoes Going through there yeah, green onions And just cleared this the, the watermelon bed. Uh, got covered up in weeds after the watermelon's finished, but we got it cleared and tarped. Trying to get control of that area. Got fig trees in the back. And all the flowers across the front of the garden. The different celosias, marigolds, coleus, salvia, some real pretty garlic chive. We ran into some sound issues, but I'll try to recap. We have lima beans growing on that fence. This is bitter melon that's growing over our arch. And there's a big one. Another one right there. Lima beans. Back here we have our fig trees. They have quite a few figs on them. We're hoping that they get ripe. There's a ripe one. And then I spotted another ripe one. Weeds about took it over, but we've reclaimed it. It's got this bed ready to plant. Carrots down there, beets here. Then we'll start planting these beds. And got purple whole peas over here that 
Uh, it looks like they struggled a little bit from the heat. Maybe they'll still make some more. One of our struggles in the past has been ending up with a harvest of short or forked carrots. We learned that carrots really need a deep layer of fluffy soil so that the roots can grow longer. In fact, we settled on this meadow creature broad fork because of its long tines that help us loosen up the compost in our bed. We amend the bed with Nature Safe, then we are ready to stamp holes for each seed. So, I made these boards. You just, um, I just videoed the, using them. And if you look on there, I've got, I've got three sets of these, a three inch spacing, a four inch, a four by four, a three by three, and a six by six. This three by three is for carrots, radishes, and green onions. I just write it on there. You see on the other side, it has the appropriate size wooden dowel to make the appropriate size hole and depth. And this board makes um, 32 holes with one stamp, so you can make a whole bunch of holes, all perfect, really quick. Four by four inch spacing. You see, I made my notes on it. You see, I've got my notes on there. Same, same deal. I've broken a few off, but it still works good. Fall carrots are our favorite. They'll last through the cold temperatures of winter, and they seem to be sweeter and more flavorful. So we always plan to grow a lot. So we're planting carrots today. We're plant, We always plant two kinds. We plant um, all these seeds are from Johnny's. We plant a main crop carrot. This one's Hercules. And we usually um, eat them first when they we harvest them, and the, then we plant a storage carrot. This one is Bolero. And we always use Johnny's seeds for our carrots because they're important to us. We're also today we're also planting. Uh, parsnips. This is Johnny Seed. Awesome. And then we're planting um, beets, and we have two kinds of beets. Right now we're using boro from Johnny. It does real well for us. And then we have a specialty beet, uh, a golden beet called Boldor. And they're real pretty. Make a nice contrast with the two. And we'll show you how we plant them. So it's important for carrots to be spaced properly so that they can get a nice usable size. And I don't like to thin, so when we plant, we use the boards to get the proper spacing. And we attempt to drop one seed per hole. Sometimes we drop more, but it still works out. Not every seed will come up. They do come up pretty good and usually for us. And what we'll do after we drop a seed in each one of these holes, we won't go back and close the holes. We'll just water, um, water them in. We'll let the water collapse the hole. And it saves a little time, it works good. We have real good luck like that. It's a little tedious, but worth the time, especially how expensive seeds are now. One of the reasons I don't like thinning. So our beds are mulch with compost. Probably doesn't matter if it's soil or compost, but we don't close the holes. We just come back immediately and basically flood the bed, water it in, which 
kind of collapses the hole. And it won't totally collapse them, but as it rains and as they get watered more, it'll just level out. Save a little time having to close all those holes. It seems to work real good. And what I'll do is, this carriage will kind of hard to germinate. What we do on carrots to make sure they do good. It took us a few years to figure it out. We always dried fork the bed. And we have compost on there, which is you know, most of the nutrients that the carrots need. We do put Nature Safe 855 in. But once they're planted like this and watered in, I'll cut them in every day, depending on the weather and depending on what it looks like. It's cooled off now, so it might not have to be watered every day. But I'll check it every day until they actually germinate to make sure they never dry out between now and the time they germinate. It's been hot and dry for a while, so you know, everything is dry. This bed's actually pretty good shape. It was covered in landscape fabric from um, when we planted squash. haven't been covered. That's pretty good. Doesn't take very long. It's probably really only like five minutes or so to run through here and water this bed. It would aim for it'll take over a week. It, it's been hot so it probably won't take quite two weeks for these to germinate. Like in the spring it takes even longer. Just water them in good. Make sure they get covered up. Get the bed moist and they'll germinate. And they did. Carrots are growing well along with many of our other fall crops. We did have a setback though. An unwelcome visitor gorged on almost every plant in our main garden. We're hoping to get an update soon of the damage and recovery.